I've become a big fan of Cameron Beccario's Earth site and visit it daily. You owe it to yourself to visit the site and explore the atmosphere model. I discovered the controls for going back in time, as far back as November 1st, 2013. Now, in one post on the Real Climate site, a climate scientist said that the jet stream was writhing like a snake with a broken back. I wanted to see the jet stream writhe, and see if that was a good description. I set out to animate Cameron's map. I chose the full globe equirectangular view and grabbed single frames of each three hour step of the jet stream from November 2013 through February 2014. There are eight three hour time increments per day. I like the way the weather plays back at 16 frames a second. So in this video, two days go by for each second. I actually can't answer the snake question since I've never seen a snake with a broken back. Of course, the internet can help with any question like that. Here's the wind and surface temperature map for the same period. The variation between daytime and nighttime temperature is easy to see. Then I was delighted to find the beautiful UMETSAT video, A Year of Weather 2013, that combines a full year of infrared imagery of the world's clouds with NASA's blue marble pictures. UMETSAT promises that this will be an annual video. I hope it is. I thought, here are the actual 2013 clouds, including November and December. I can make animations of some of NOAA's weather models from November and December 2013. How would the models compare with the actual clouds? Meteorologists, geophysicists, and other scientists diligently compare their models against the atmosphere, but it takes an expert to make sense of the comparisons. Being able to see a match or a mismatch should make the model more intuitive and real for me. First, the surface winds. For clarity, I extract the surface winds from the map background so they can be overlaid on other backgrounds. Then color them so they're easy to identify. And align them as closely as I can with the satellite video. With this result.
Cameron's Earth Visualization Site maps the total cloud water as well. I figured that this would be an even tougher test. It seems to me that cloud details depend on many more things than the models try to take into account. So, extract, color, and superimpose. and then put the actual clouds, the total cloud water, and the surface wind all together in one view. I think the atmosphere models pass the test. I have created individual silent videos of these comparisons. Grab them with a video downloader and loop them in your video player then lose yourself in the beauty and power of our atmosphere and weather. My very grateful thanks go to Cameron Beccario, NOAA, UMETSAT, and the scientific community that creates such knowledge.